Hi, I'm Wesley from Linux Creative. You may already be aware that I use Blender for video editing. Before you tell me I'm crazy, consider a few things. First, it's the video editor I know best. In a previous profession, my workflow was largely animation, and I would do all of the animation in Blender scenes, so it made sense to use the video editor as well. Not to mention the video editing software my company provided was complete trash, making Blender a better option even 10 years ago. Also, unlike the video editing software everyone seems to think is the best choice for Linux, Blender actually will run on any computer and supports a wide range of video codecs. In my experience, it just works far better than Resolve. While Blender may not come with every bell and whistle that you want for video editing, Blender's video sequence editor has actually come a long way since I started using it. Years ago, I made a video and how-to article about a hacky way of putting drop shadows on your text items in Blender. While this article is still relevant for images, Blender has recently added drop shadow to text strips in the video editor. Another recent change that has really sped up my workflow for screen capture editing is the introduction of retiming keys. In the past, I would render stills from frames, cut movie strips, pull those frames back into the editor and use the speed control effect to speed up or slow down my screen capture and sync it to my audio track. I got pretty fast in doing this, but as you can imagine, it was still pretty maddening. I was making a lot of cuts and it was difficult to make changes when a client or employer requested revisions. Having the ability now to add freeze frames and add retiming keys directly in my screen captures makes this much better experience. If you'd like me to make a video about how I use retiming keys for screen captures, let me know in the comments. While all of these improvements are great, I've always felt that Blender's video effects were a bit lacking. Oftentimes I find myself using the compositor to do more complex video effects, then pull my rendered footage back into the video editor to complete the edit. I've long hoped for an easy way to send strips from the video editor straight to the compositor and apply more complex effects chains to them. This could be helpful in applying highly stylized video effects such as my VHS group node effect. It's included in my video template blend file. I'll link that in the description if you'd like to play around with it. The compositor can also be useful for chroma keying, masking, or more complex color grading workflows. While thinking about this problem, I realized I could use different scene strips with the composited video clip directly in the video editor. This got me thinking about ways to make this workflow faster. The result is my first Blender add-on. What this add-on does is convert any movie strip into a separate scene with basic node network set up in the compositor. This allows you to apply more complex effects to your video strips by treating them as separate compositor scenes. To install the add-on, download the .zip file from the link in the description. Next, go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, and Install from Disk in Blender. Navigate to the .zip file you just downloaded and make sure the box is checked next to the add-on name in the Preferences window. To use this tool, select any movie strip in Blender, then right-click and select Movie Strip to Compositor Scene. A new scene will be created and replace the movie strip in the video editor. Click over to the compositor and select the new scene to start applying effects. Back in the video editing scene in Workspace, you'll see the changes you've made in the compositor. Now, this does something very basic, but it saves time by placing the scene in place of the video input, which keeps your audio and video in sync and saves time with manual setup. Obviously, much like my drop shadow hack of the past, this is far from a polished or ideal solution, but it does achieve getting a composited material back into the video editor with little fuss. The biggest issue you might notice if you use my add-on is that if you apply really complex effects, video playback will be very slow. If scene strip proxying were supported in Blender, this would be greatly improved. Perhaps I'll add an option to render a scene back to a movie strip and place it back in the video editor. But this is still an incomplete solution. Ultimately, I would love to see more effects that are represented in the compositor added to the video sequencer as well, perhaps as individual modifiers or one compositor modifier. I know there are some hurdles in trying to accomplish this from a development standpoint, but I believe more robust effects processing directly in Blender's video sequence editor could be implemented with relative ease. And I would be a huge win for others like me that prefer to use Blender for both animation and video editing. I should mention that I'm not an experienced developer, so there are no doubt some problems with this Python script I wrote. If you decide to install it on Blender and try it out, I'd love to hear more about your experience with it, what worked, what didn't, and what you think could be improved. If you're a developer and you'd like to help me with this project, please reach out. I'd be happy to have some assistance. If my add-on saved a few hours out of your day, please consider dropping me a small donation. If you have open source resources for Blender you'd like to share with others, consider joining the community at forum.linuxcreative.com. Maybe in the future I'll explore and talk more about some other useful video editing add-ons for Blender. Until next time, keep creating, keep learning, and happy hacking.